45 feet. He is pulling the Caesar Club, Club wagon. He has Joe and David Melcia from Lincoln. Lincoln. I'd like to advise you, August the 14th, 15th, and 16th is Old Machinery Day at Caesar Creek Pioneer Village. Everyone is invited. The next tractor is Mr. Hurst's daughter, Leanne Hurst. The tractor belongs to Jason Hurst, who is the son. They're from Goshen. It's a 1937B John Deere. The next one is a 1939 F-14 International, owned by Russ McGuire of Waynesville, Ohio. The next one is a Model H, a 1943 Model H Farm Hall, belongs to Tom Gentry of Lebanon, Ohio. The next agency coming up is pulling the corn shredder. That's owned by Bob Boyles of Lebanon. It's a 1948-H farm hall. The shredder it's pulling belongs to the Pioneer Village Club. The next one is Buck Ken Bunton, Bobcat Enterprises out of Cincinnati, Ohio. That is a brand new Bobcat. The next one is Gene Bussell. He's with the Caesar Creek Club. He's driving a 1949 Oliver 66, and he's from Morrow, Ohio. The next one is a 1955 Cockshut 40. It belongs to Harry. Archdeacon of Waynesville, Ohio. Very also belongs to the Caesar Street Club. The 19, the next one is a 1935 Model D John Deere, owned by Tim Walker from Goshen, Ohio. He has his two sons on her, TJ, TJ and Roger. The board is Ken Butterworth. It's a Ford, I believe that's a Jubilee, clean little tractor. He also belongs to both clubs. And that next one, I don't know that guy, that's Mr. Pro Shell. He's from down south uh, on uh, Green Tree Road, and I'd say that's his grandchildren are wonder with him. He's driving a D, or an 06 McCormick Daring, which is an orchard tractor used in the orchard. Folks, that continues ours, but as soon as I were at 7 30 by the committee, that's when the moon will take off. Thank you. Walker. The Model B, you see, belongs to Jim Hurst. Belongs to Jason, but Dad's going to crank it. Thank you, Charlie, for that. And the F 14 International belongs to Russ McGuire. I asked now they have shut the gas off at the gas tank. When they all three stop, there'll be a whistle blow, and they'll turn the gas on, and we'll have see which one starts first. Looks like the D stopped first. Did you shut yours off, Jim? I know I
Yeah, go up there and get in Bruce's way there, buddy. You stop. He's out. Hey Becky, be funny if Bruce wins with Jim's tractor. <laughs> I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be okay. I need just lucked out. That's Bruce Linda mood on the John Deere. So far, he's ahead. Yeah, but he's, a, he's in the position that counts. Why is it? Because when they're behind, they're ahead in this game. Oh. Oh, but you gotta feel good. 
live here. Jim Hurts, Goshen, Ohio, will be our first official poet. You'll know as we do, wherever they put the pile on, that'll be the first place poet. Number two, that'll be the second spot and so on. He will be the first official poet. Well, sometimes they take the wrong gear. I'd like to introduce you from, from Springsboro, Ohio, Bill Boards. He's one of the heads of the bill. Thank you. We try to put on a good show here with the weather or when it is, we'll never know, but we're going to give her a good try. Hey, Jason. Jason. Bob Smith is next and the last 
to this class. Get your two car news in line, gentlemen. Tim Brown, Wayne Phil Hines on his way. Next to the last car, then two car old. Oh, 
I wonder if Doug would have had Cody's tires on there if he'd have done any better. He didn't have time. Doug didn't get off work until 10 after him, so he didn't have time to switch them or those I'll tell you, he's sick about it. No disgrace to finish last tonight because the RIP is going to be some of the non-spot newcomer from over at she just so bad he said, oh, he's he's not not he said, I can't wait. Oh, he said, she wants me to go all the way up there. She said, why can't she just drive down here? Kill over Ohio. Driving in frustration. <laughs>
Are you cold, Leanne? How about you, Michelle? <laughs> two eyes. Hi Katie Bobs. Hi Katie Bobs. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> you sit on my lap. <laughs> Get over, Linda. She's I, over. I'm over. Get over, Katie. Hey Linda, is this gonna be the I don't know. Dad. 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 And uh, most of the people that are here are from the working class. And our first job is a job description. So uh, most of you know all about those. And Linda, you used to be the only one that wasn't in job. <laughs> so I got this job description, and we're going to divide off into four groups. And it's going to be you guys' job to designate one person out of your group to do the job. Okay? Now, um, we're going to start down here and just start counting up.
somebody, okay, that meets this job description. Watch out. and then I'll give you the sheet to go by. Okay, the job description is experience not needed, we will train. Athletic type helpful, but not necessary. Age requirement is 18 and older. It can be a male or a female. Neat in appearance, any type, and dress code is optional. So that's pretty easy, isn't it, for this job? Okay, so pick out somebody you use for this job, and then we'll find what the job is.
This is the after, huh? Uh, I said this is the after, huh? Yeah. Look, I quit today, man. <laughs> That's because you behaved yourself I last night. That's because you behaved yourself last night. Feel you didn't you didn't dance or do nothing dumb. Uh, you didn't drink too much and do some dumb stuff. <laughs> now see it was worth behaving, wasn't it? I didn't behave. I drank much as I am. You didn't dance and carry on like you usually do. Next year if we had one they better buy the Bury out. Want to? Yeah. Yeah. I thought when we You've got everything. We'll watch it I come up here to work and you've got everything. I know it.
Are we having fun? Well, there's that David. Hi, Joey. Hi. Hi. Hey, how you feel? Hi. Okay. Here and why? I got a bruise right here because I danced too much. And oh fell. my gosh! Well, at least you had fun getting it, right? Yeah. There weren't a lot of kids dancing. Well, a lot of kids enjoyed themselves. Parents don't like dancing. Well, I know. Yeah, and actually, oh. each time it comes, everybody's a year older. I'm trying to use up the rest of my film here, and then I'll just go ahead and charge it. Bobs. Katie, did you have fun at the pig roast last night? Can I interview you? Well, I wanted to ask you a few questions, okay? What did you enjoy most about the pig roast? What did you like? What did you enjoy about the pig roast, Joey? The pig and the ride. The pig and the ride. And how about you, bud? What did you enjoy? Walk over here to Travis. Travis, what did you enjoy about the 1992 pig roast? Playing football. So you had a good time, huh? Good. You're hard to keep in a camera, you know. You move a lot. <laughs> Are you Delphia? And did you have a good time? What did you enjoy most? Dancing? I'm glad to hear it. Night. The 
David Pelosi, did you have fun at the pig roast last night? And what was your favorite thing to do? Look up at me, sweetie, and tell me. What did you like to do so much? No. Like the tractor. You like to ride the tractor. Okay. All right, we'll walk over here to Mr. Dustin Smith. Uh, Okay, did you have fun last night at the pig roast? Mm -hmm. Well, could you tell me what you enjoyed the most? Look up at me and tell me. You like the tractor. You like taking the ride? I, thought I you, like the tractor too. I thought you enjoyed riding around in the garage. And the juniors take the wagon race. All right, juniors. <laughs> That doesn't count on your SAT score. <laughs> but it might make you proficient. Our football players. We're going to play Goshen tonight. today. Hi Betty, you have anything to say? Yes, you haven't burned anything yet? That's good. <laughs> and this is our grill. No, don't yell at him. Just let it be a natural picture. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, look. I, I'm I'm out out out. Oh, okay.
That's pretty good, isn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Carter of Randy and Donna Gilbert. She plays volleyball, varsity cheerleader, and is in the National Honor Society. President of student government, plays softball, and is a member of peer counseling. Paul is the son of Terry and Barb Brooks. Barb plays football, baseball, and is in weightlifting. And coming across the field is last year's homecoming king and queen, 1991 football homecoming queen, Michelle Morris. Escorted by John Mueller, the 1991 King. Michelle is now attending Xavier University in Cincinnati, and John is attending Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. Welcome back.
much to welcome you down behind the flag on the end of the field of the flag. The traffic is backed up for miles. Who are you guys rooting for tonight? St. X! St. X fans in that car. Hey, who are you guys rooting for tonight in the game? St. X. St. X fans, two in a row. You think these guys are excited for the game? It hasn't even started yet. 
The excitement continued inside the stadium, but it was mostly on one side of the field. Bombers on the first drive. Jamie Doxey hits Jason Cohill for 23 yards. They rumbled in on the next play, 7-0 St. X. Next series, same connection, same result. Doxey to Cohill, 25 yards over the middle. He's in for the score, 14-0 St. X. And just so the defense doesn't feel left out, Andy Chiotti, thank you very much. He's in for the score. Bombers a winner, 28-7. And for today at least, St. X is the king of the road. Over at Coleraine tonight, the Cardinals trying to put an end to West High's 16-game Metro Conference winning streak. What a nice homecoming present that would be for these guys. Quarterback Derek Johnson, he liked the idea. Four yards for him on the keeper. But those were the only points the Cardinals could come up with against a stingy Mustang defense. Rodney Heath picks off Johnson's pass. That seals it for Coleraine and for another night of the Triple F. Mustangs a winner, 13-7. With the fever, Brett Haber, Channel 9 Sports. To the scoreboard, Connor blanks Dixie, Beachwood big over Dayton. Western Brown upends New Richmond, Lachlan blanks Summit Country Day. Newport and Loveland were winners tonight. They had nine sacks against the Warriors. Anderson by 21 over Amelia. Newport Central Catholic downs Bellevue. It was Williamsburg over Claremont Northeast, Northwest over Hughes. Now the fever heads south of the soup for the old backyard rivalry between Covington Catholic and Highlands. Both undefeated coming in. This is the third quarter, 14-all Cath on the two. Adam McCormick hands off to Chad Cogswell. He's in. The extra point makes it 21-14. Highlands sets up shop on their 50. Here comes the reverse. Mike Welch of the Bluebirds. Number 27 flies 50 yards for the tying touchdown when you count the extra point, and they shot off that darn cannon. Now in the fourth, Cuffcath driving again on the Highlands three. Here comes Cogswell again. They went on top again this time for good on route to a 41-21 victory. Back to the board, Harrison blanks Walnut Hills. Deer Park is a winner tonight, along with Glen Esty and Baden over Bacon. Cincinnati Country Day rolls on. They blank New Miami, Redding over Bandera. Campbell County by four over Henry Clay. Mount Healthy a winner by 10. Bethel Tate by six. Turpin falls to Taft. And here's a shocker. Middletown falls to Sycamore. 17-14. Call the journal. Another big surprise on the night involved the Norwood Winton Woods game at Shea Stadium in Norwood. Packed house as one might expect, what with both being undefeated in the conference. Big Mark Edwards, what else? Only it's a question of how far. This time, 33 yards for the Indians' touchdown. The point after, and it's 7 to nothing, Norwood. But watch Desmond Tidwell. He's going to pass to Tony George in the end zone for the touchdown, and they were never headed. Tidwell threw for two, ran for one. Edwards had 200 yards, but 21-13 is your final. Little Miami and Kings. There's bad blood brewing between these guys. All in good fun, of course. And here's old Jeremy Barraclo. Check him out. He's really getting into it. Yes, sir. Stand up. Take a bow. We get into the action. Little Miami, a 7-0 lead. Only to have Kings push one in. Chris Peters, two-yard plunge, a one-point game. And Philip Poggi lines up the tie kick. Only to have Nathan Lamb, who scored the Panthers' touchdown, blocks the kick. They hang on for the 7-6 win and stay undefeated. Back to the board. Wyoming downs Taylor. Lima Sr. over Lakota by a field goal. Loveland branks Marymont again. Oak Hills over Withrow. Princeton big over Fairfield. Chaminade downs Purcell Marion. And Muller, 19 4